The Veranda House by Studio Espazzo in Ahmedabad, India. The Veranda House is a weekend home situated on the outskirts of Ahmedabad city, enveloped by a lush tapestry of dense foliage. Within the plot, a retail bonsai boutique occupies two-thirds of the space, while the Veranda House graces the back, occupying a generous one-third of the space. The client's directive was to distinctly reimagine and reinterpret the conventional notion of a, a veranda, a highly utilized and cherished space in Indian households. Their vision encompassed a residence where each area established a profound connection with the landscapes. The client had specified their preference for the absence of traditional beams while maintaining structural integrity and visual cohesiveness. The design concept was developed with the intention of intricately intertwining the built environment with the natural surroundings. A steadfast commitment to environmental preservation guided the construction process ensuring the protection and conservation of every existing tree within the premises. The form of the structure was achieved by drawing inspiration from the irregular formations found in nature wherein each element possesses its own inherent imperfections. The design elements used created harmony with the organic nature of the overall form further accentuating its imperfections and embracing the variability observed in the natural cycles. Upon entering the veranda house, the visitor is greeted by a captivating view of the open facade in the background, subtly revealed through a low-height wall portraying an artistic tale of avian presence. Birds seem to be chirping and gracefully flying in through the traditional still green door, symbolizing their visit to the veranda. The house is a single-level structure spanning an area of 4,500 square feet. As one moves along the house, each corner presents a unique character and guides individuals through a journey they can weave on their own. The design incorporates various elements to establish a strong connection between the interior and exterior. The windows open up to lush green courtyards and the doors reveal dense landscapes with sculptures and water features, interacting with the greenery. The flooring showcases intricate leaf and bird inlays, narrating a story of the natural cycle. The play of shadows of the frangipani tree on the slabs creates a sense of being beneath the foliage. Additionally, the outdoor areas establish a compelling link with the indoor spaces through the reflection of the structure in the pool, creating the sense of bringing the outdoors inside and the indoors outside. Each room has been deliberately designed to direct one's attention toward the enticing landscapes adding another dimension to the overall spatial experience. The structural design showcases a harmonious blend of mushroom-shaped columns and rectangular columns, strategically positioned in diverse arrangements, symbolizing the organic layers found in the natural environment. The design of the veranda house incorporates a floating plinth in the structure. This design element creates the illusion of the structure being suspended above the ground, enhancing the overall aesthetic appeal. Additionally, cantilevers of 4 feet at the plinth level and 10 feet at the slab level were strategically implemented, eliminating the need for conventional beams while keeping the structural stability intact. This combination of a floating plinth and cantilevers resulted in a seamless architectural composition. Exposed concrete has been utilized for the structure, while lime plaster finishes have been carefully selected to maintain an earthy and sleek aesthetic. The black natural kadapa stone flooring, locally found in India, serves as a prominent visual element and acts as a backdrop for the other components within the space. 
Its natural tonal variations and gradients form captivating patterns, providing subtle guidance for movement in the open space. Rather than enclosing the rooms with solid walls, glass has been employed as a vertical element to maximize the connection with the surrounding natural environment. The house comprises two distinct blocks, one for private spaces and another for semi-private areas. By opening the glass doors, a seamless transition occurs, transforming the interior into a veranda-like extension, seamlessly merging the indoor and outdoor spaces. The roof gracefully soars to a height of 12 feet, finished with a layer of meticulously finished insulated tiles atop a resilient concrete slab. The bedroom features lime plaster finishes in subtle earthy tones, while the overall interior design has a palette inspired by nature. The living, dining, and kitchen areas harmonize with the bedroom through similar tones, and natural materials such as cane and wood have been used throughout the space. In the interior, the inclusion of murals narrates an interesting expression of Indian species of birds flying into the house, through different timings of the day, embodying the essence of being on a veranda and immersing oneself in nature's lap. The elements, accent pieces, and fixtures were designed with great consideration given to honoring the organic form of the veranda house and conveying the notion of serendipitous shapes and celebrating the beauty of irregularity.